Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and if it's something that I really don't understand, it's football. That's why I don't really watch it, I don't really get the idea of uh, watching a bunch of people for hours kick balls, but then again, I'm the guy that played Shenmue a few times, okay? So I'm probably not the best uh, person to understand about habits and good habits, but ladies and gentlemen, okay, Euro 2020 just happened, and it was a very, very, very intense match between Italy and England, and guess what? The Italians took it home. Congratulations, Italy, good for you! You know what England took home? a fat L, and that fat L caused a bunch of those players to end up getting harassed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's not something I agree with, and especially when the harassment gets to a point where, like, people are being vitriolic and racist. Imagine, imagine, imagine simping for your team where you know people of different races and colors are playing ball. You decide, oh, well, we lost, better just bring it on them. I mean, just being a general dick about losing is already a bad sign of character anyways. Now, the story took a bit of a development when UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson says the government plans to ban anyone guilty of online racist abuse from soccer matches as authorities continue to respond to some wicked online lawlessness. So basically, if you're like one of those Stormfront users, uh, good luck trying to get into a football game at the end of the day. Now, this being said, I didn't consider this to be unexpected, nor do I have any sympathy for some racists losing their privileges to watch grown men kick balls around, but somebody that comes from an Indian family with a worship for cricket, I honestly Honestly, I, I still can't understand all this craze around sports that leads up to this level of online debauchery, okay? Just because your team lost doesn't mean you have to bitch about it, England, okay? Jesus Christ. You, you'll get them next time. Now, because of this harassment the players ended up receiving, Twitter, yes, of course, of all places, and the internet in general, has decided to have the shittiest take of all time, which is make verified ID a requirement for opening... Sorry. Sorry, you have to speak this in character for stupidity. Make verified ID a requirement for opening a social media account. Now, way back when I was doing Trafficking Hub, when we were talking about uploading adult videos and stuff, I actually thought this would be a pretty good idea, but that's mostly for creators. And even in that context, after I made that, I was like, you know, this is a really dumb idea, actually. ID shouldn't be a required component for any form of fucking social media. But ladies and gentlemen, because it's the internet, 600 75,000 people have clicked and signed on this. And I don't think you have to be a UK resident. I honestly think this is just like trolling. All you have to do is check this box and say, sources, trust me, bro. I'm actually from there. I can, I can definitely, yeah, I don't think you have to, you look at that, it just keeps going up. Whatever, anyways. So, ladies and gentlemen, make it a legal requirement when opening a new social media account to provide a verified form of ID where the accountant belongs to a person under the age of 18. Verify the account with the ID of a parent guardian to prevent anonymized, harmful activity providing traceability if an offense occurs. You know, these kind of people, this is what the block button and the mute button is for. It's what I would say if I was a real fucking dumbass. Listen, at the end of the day, people who brigade and harass you, that's a very terrible thing, okay? Like, there's there's nothing that, like, in a way, if you have never been brigaded or harassed by anyone, you kind of don't have a right to speak, okay? There's a lot of people online right now that are basically walking targets for internet online harassment. And the amount of shit they probably receive in their messages on a hour hourly basis is probably enough to make anybody stay in bed and not choose to take on the day, okay? Listen, all right, I'm not going to sit here and say that blocking people is the only tool. Even if you block one person, they can make 10 sock accounts and keep going at it at an accelerated pace. So it becomes a fucking arms race between you and a thousand of other losers on the internet. And sometimes words do fucking hurt, okay? That's just what it comes down to. Now, at the end of the day, is this level of like, you know, increased scrutiny enough to warrant verified ID on social media networks? No. Let me explain why this entire idea is already fucking stupid to begin with. Now, what really makes this idea kind of dumb, uh, very dumb, is that making a verified ID is such a hard thing, because in order to do this, you have to make this a requirement everywhere in the world. Now, there are over a hundred countries, and a lot of them have people on social media. Social media services cater to almost every single country. So, imagine, if this was a requirement in the United Kingdom, sure, the UK residents hand over your driver's licenses and IDs like no tomorrow. But to make this legal in the United States or South America or, you know, Russia or really any other country where social media is also implanted in would be a monumental legal task. And I would wager to bet that there are plenty of countries that would just never let their, their countrymen, countrywomen's like IDs 
go out to the public. Okay, I don't think that's how it would work. So imagine if the UK residents had to give their IDs over, what's stopping an online harasser for setting up a VPN for many of the services out there? All right, you can even watch my video where you can set up your own VPN and basically routing your data through another country, all right, and then using their registration process that does not require an ID to make that country social. You understand what I'm saying? Like VPN to a country that doesn't have this fucking requirement, make an account there and continue your sock puppetry. This is the one thing this entire bill fails to understand, okay? The United Kingdom is not the only fucking country in the world. And because of how stupid this idea is, the government has actually ended up responding to it, okay? Now, this is a response from their government, all right? So petitions.parliament.unitedkingdom. Let's click on the read the response in full. The government recognizes concerns linked to anonymity online, which can sometimes be exploited by bad actors seeking to emerge in harmful activity, cyberbullying. However, restricting all users' right to anonymity by introducing compulsory user verification for social media could disproportionately impact users who rely on anonymity to protect their identity. Oh, wait, users who rely on anonymity? Man, who could that be? Users include young people exploring their gender or sexual identity, whistleblowers, journalists, sources, and victims of abuse, introducing a new legal requirement whereby only verified users can access social media would force these users to disclose their identity and increase a risk to harm to their personal safety. That's not me saying it. That's the fucking government that's being petitioned is what they're saying. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, this idea sounds kind of utopian in theory. You know, in the head, you're like, wait, if we had everyone's ID, they'd be too scared to bully me online. You forget the idea of VPNing to a place where they didn't have the requirement and then bullying you, okay? You also forgot the idea of them going on totally different social media networks, their own homegrown social media networks, and running harassment campaigns on you there, okay? To enforce a site-wide, internet-wide, verified ID check is so fucking difficult that you're never going to stop this level of harassment. Now, does that mean I'm protecting it or I'm even... Like, is it no, I think online harassment is wrong, okay? I also think this idea of curtailing online harassment fucks people the hardest. Now, at the end of the day, imagine this, okay? They've already mentioned people who are young, people who are in the LGBTQ sphere. Could you imagine how hard it is for them to come out to their parents who may not be so friendly to those views? Yeah, that's fucking scary. Some people have been known to die for being, you know, in that sphere, okay? So for them to express a little bit of themselves with anonymity and you're gonna take that away? What the fuck? Because somebody, because somebody made fun of you on the internet? Eat a dick! Now, at this point, all right, journalists, all right, and journalists who even defend this, who by by the way, any journalist defending this is the same kind of fucking journalist who goes on the internet and types, hey guys, this TikTok just sucked a fat dick! There's your, there's your scandal. No, actual journalists who cover like drug cartels, for instance, imagine this scenario, okay? Let's say that you gave your ID card to Twitter, right? They, they took it, whatever. Now, imagine if Twitter gets a data breach. Have you looked at Solar Winds like last, like the last couple days when I covered it? Uh, yeah, they ended up having massive security breaches around big tech companies. Now, imagine if personal data is to be leaked down the road, right? Gigabytes and gigabytes of personal data. Imagine if Twitter gets hacked and they they have all of your IDs, right? Imagine if you're a user from Mexico, for instance, a journalist from Mexico who's covering the very violent drug cartels in that country. Now, you have to give your ID to Twitter, okay? So Twitter Mexico processes it. Imagine if Twitter gets hacked, your IDs are now sitting on a dump outside on the dark web or any place where those IDs are contained. What is stopping the very violent drug cartel that you're covering to download that repository, filter out the IDs, and find the journalists that are shitting on them and then pay them a fucking visit. You understand that's what verified IDs can bring to the table in regards to the journalism career, in regards to actual, you know, people who are actually needing their anonymity to stay fucking alive to continue doing what they do. I get that it's easy to think about this from the cushiony world that people live in, but in this massive global village, there is a reason people do want some fucking anonymity. Honestly, even if you're not a journalist or anybody in the LGBTQ sphere, you still shouldn't be giving your fucking 
fucking ID to big tech companies anyways. The amount of data these guys siphon off of your smartphone anyways, and it is a fucking lot. If you use any product from Facebook, they know every in and end of what's going on on your smartphone device. And on top of that, you're still willing to give these guys your identification? Nobody is okay with that. Even if you've been through the worst cases of online harassment, it's still such a stupid idea that you're still able to understand what my side of the argument is, what most people's side of the argument really is. Now, I'm going to tie this thing off. If after all of this, you still think that an ID card is required because of people online, you know, bullying and things like that, then I'm going to leave it to you, okay? At the end of the day, I think you personally grossly misunderstand the situation. Introducing a massive security hole like this just because of that situation is just never going to be worth it in any way whatso shape. Ladies and gentlemen, even if these sites ban you and you create a sock puppet account, and yes, they could require you to hand an ID card, but what's stopping that person who's like so knee deep in harassment to actually create a sock puppet account, all right, using a VPN, a different IP address that wouldn't be registered on the website and going through that way. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no real simple fix to any of this, okay? But at the end of the day, do I agree there needs to be some level of, of, of curbing the online harassment that we have? Probably, 100%, but giving them a fucking identification, user ID verify, this? This ain't it, chief. This is like, this is bad. This is like on the other end of the fucking spectrum. There's so much that can go wrong in this situation. And at some point, you gotta say, at some, someone's gotta say it, and I'm gonna be saying it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.